Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my World Kitchen channel again. Today let's cook a uh, tupino. That is an Italian dish, Italian stew, seafood stew. So this is the ingredients that I'm going to use for my uh, tupino. I use pompano on my tupino because I know pompano is really tasty. That's really good fish. I'm going to try that for my tupino. I usually use a uh, halibut or cod on my chupino but uh, today I'm going to use the uh, pompano. I don't know what uh, what name of that in other countries but I know different countries different names. <laughs> okay let's put it up together and let's get started. Okay in your carrots you need to cut it up in little cubes like that or it's up to you if you want a little bit bigger than that it's fine so like that. the same way also uh, the pepper bell I use baby carrots on mine because they're a little bit sweeter than the, compared to the other one, the big ones. This one too, you need to cut cubes then, like that. The garlic, you need to chop it too, a little. crying Butter on it. Woo! That's right. <laughs> it's butter always like that. That's why I uh, put oil a little on it. Fire! <laughs> really need to saute all the vegetables. This will be like three minutes. Mm. 
now let's add a diced tomato. And also tomato paste. And I have lime. I use lime and lime and the Italian seasoning. And I use uh, shrimp paste on mine. Okay, we just stir it and then it's uh, boiled up for like about three to four minutes. And the pepper flakes. Pepper plates. Now let's add the fish. Does this one have bone on it? And let's simmer like the four minutes. Okay, let's cover that up for four minutes. Four minutes. Now I'll drop my thyme. Just one half the teaspoon of thyme. Continue to simmer the fish another two more minutes. And some of them, their side is garlic bread, and also you can go a uh, multi grain. You can toss the multi grain and put like a little butter on it and together with this chipino. Almost there. Okay, let's add some basil there. This is optional. If you don't have any uh, fresh basil, you can always use dried basil. And this is done. Looks good. So here is my chupino inside of garlic bread instead of pasta. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video. And share with your friends and your family. And hello to my friend from Italy. I know she knows this food. Uh, I hope uh, you, you should also try mine. And <laughs> let me know. Okay, hello to everyone, to my family and friends. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, see you next time. Okay, let's try my chupino.